Howie Rosen Shine, and welcome to the Inventor's Corner. Today I'd like to talk to you about leveling the bed on your Creality Ender 3 3D printer. I have an Ender 3 Pro, but this should work equally well on the original Ender 3 or the Ender 3 V2. I do a lot of 3D printing for prototyping, so I can tell you that leveling the bed is one of the most important things you can do to assure that you get a good print each time. It's not a particularly complicated process, but it can be a bit tricky, frustrating, and time-consuming to get right. So the idea behind this video is to give you a few simple steps and a little secret sauce to help you get this done quickly, easily, and accurately. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to preheat both the bed and the print head. I'm printing in PLA, so that's what I'll choose. But if you're printing in a different filament, just choose that. We preheat the bed and the print head for two reasons. First is that metal expands when it's heated, and we want both the print head and the bed to be expanded so that our bed leveling adjustments are accurate while we're printing. The second reason is we want to clean any old excess extra filament off the print head before we start leveling. And the easiest way to do that is to bring it up to temperature and just wipe away the liquid filament. After your print head has come to temperature, you may see a strand of filament oozing out. You can remove this with your forceps, being careful not to burn yourself. The temperature of the print head is roughly the temperature of an oven rack when you're baking cookies. Before we clean the print head, we will reduce its temperature by 50 degrees. Then we will clean the print head while it is dropping to its new temperature. This keeps the print head clean until the temperature drops below the melting point of the filament. At that point, we have a clean print head that is still mostly preheated and that, that won't ooze while we are leveling the bed. To clean the print head, I like to use a clean, bone-dry cellulose sponge. I've included a link below to my favorite, the Scotch-Brite scrub sponge. In addition to the cellulose side that we're using here, it has a Scotch-Brite pad on the other side that you can use for tough burned-on filament messes or if your filament gets too cool, etc. In a pinch, you can use a paper towel, but it doesn't work quite as well in general, and be careful not to burn your fingers. Basically, we just keep cleaning until the filament reaches its new temperature. So now, with a clean, preheated print head nozzle, we're done with secret sauce number one, and we're ready to level the bed. Okay, it's time to get started with leveling. So I'm going to go into my menu, hit print from PF, and select the bed leveling code that I've included uh, as a link. And Basically, the uh, print head is going to drop down to zero, and the uh, then it's going to move over right above this corner of the of the print bed, uh, right above the axis of the print wheel, and then we'll be ready to start leveling. I move my piece of paper over to that corner in anticipation. And we're almost ready. Getting there. There we are, first position down to zero. Now, we move the, the, the paper, and as this is often the case, there's no resistance. What we want to do is to take this wheel and adjust it. It's, I'm going to move it a little counter, a little clockwise until there's, you just feel a little, I'm starting to feel it a little bit, that's a little too much resistance, just so it tugs, but not too much. You'll get used to it. 
Now that's, uh, I would say, perfectly uh, leveled, air quotes over that corner. Now we'll go back into resume print, and here's some sec here's secret sauce number two. If you watch other videos, the vast majority of them that include G-code, or even those that tell you to move the print head by hand, will move it to an adjacent corner. And I'm strongly suggesting that you use this G-code to move it to the opposite corner. Um, so that, oh, that's just maybe a little bit. I'll go in and get that wheel. Yeah, that one was just about right in the first place. So, yeah, there's a little bit of friction there. That's what I want. Those two corners are adjusted. So why the corner-to-corner -corner, uh, secret sauce? Well, that's the way you're supposed to uh, adjust nuts or bolts, uh, anything, anything like that in the real world. You want to use a crisscross pattern. Um, and you think about it, if I had gone to, let's say, this corner next and leveled that, while I'm tightening, I've tightened both of those, it tends to make this end raise up. Then maybe I go to this corner and adjust that, it makes this end raise up, and that messes up the adjustment I had in the first place. By going crisscross, caddy corner, I've adjusted these two, now the next one will be over here, but when I raise that, it's not affecting the height of those. It's pivoting the bed, so that will bring this corner just up to the right height. When I do that in the fourth one, it should be almost perfect, as it were. We'll go do that. Anyway, let's see what happens. Again, back into resume print. Over to that corner. Drop it down, that's a little bit tight. So counterclockwise. Yeah, that's about right. And then finally, one more resume print. Over here. That's a little bit loose. We'll go in and clockwise adjust that. Yes, I like that. All right, now the moment of truth. Go back, resume print. Drop back down, and yep, I would say that's just about right. Um, we got pretty much a perfect level there after a single pass. And that's part of the magic of Having every having the print head and the bed come to temperature, cleaning it thoroughly, and using the crisscross pattern, you won't always necessarily get your get this perfect on the first try. Particularly if it's the first time you've ever leveled the bed, but then you go through again. If you've watched other videos, they typically say, "Well, you just keep doing this over and over until until you get it right," which is true. Um, but by using the crisscross method, you should be able to cut down substantially on the number of passes. I find one usually does it, maybe two for me, but you can get this done uh, uh, with a lot fewer passes, quicker and easier, hopefully, like I promised. Easy enough so that, uh, so that you can pretty much do this each time. It doesn't take very long, especially once you get used to it, before every print or before every important print. Uh, to assure that you get a good um, a good level and, and a good print, because they do go out of uh, level pretty easily just from uh, uh, just from printing, just from use. But yes, if you find that that this corner has gotten too far out of adjustment, just go back in, resume print. It will finish up and home itself, and now it's like you're starting over. You go back in, select print from TF, and uh, bed level code, and it moves into position over the, uh, the axis of the knob in the print corner, and you can do this again.
Well, that's about it. I hope you found this interesting and useful, and if so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click on the like bulb in the bottom right corner to subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Hope to see you here again soon. Cheers. Thank you.